Hi everybody, it's Brittany and today I am going to be doing my subscription unboxing for July. Oh, why am I always itchy? Why is there... Oh my goodness, that was from new shoe. Anyways, um, first I want to start off by telling you that I am going to be starting something kind of different. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be opening and swatching all these because I think that some of these I, can, I pretty much know right away if I am or if I am not going to be using certain items. So what I think that I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox these items, I will read off what they are, what they do, and then I'm going to let you know if it's something that I feel as though I'm going to use or something that I feel as though I'm going to declutter. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take all of the items that I am going to declutter and I'm going to put them in a box and the items that I'm going to keep I'm going to mark and I'm going to put them away and then at the end of six months I'm going to go through and I'm going to find out what items I actually did use from the items that I said I was going to keep, what items I may have pulled out of the declutter box that I'm going to keep, and then I'm going to tally up the total that I have spent on all of these subscription boxes over the last six months and how much product I actually, or and how much product I actually got as far as worth, which will be a little bit difficult because some of these are um, like sample sizes. So for sample sizes, what I'll do is if they're deluxe samples, I'll put it in half. And if they are just regular samples, then they won't count. Does that make sense? Because like, for example, the first bag that I'm going to be doing today is the play and the first item that, because I already pulled it out and I started recording and realized I want to go back is the Rahwa, Rahwa Freestyle Texturizer. And this is literally just a tiny little satchel so, or a little container of product. And while I probably will use this, I don't think, I mean, I'm assuming that a full size of this, let me say, does it tell me? No. I'm going to assume that a full size of this is a lot bigger and that this is just a tiny sample of it. So what I'm going, what I would do is I wouldn't count this as any monetary value, but something like, for example, this next item in here, which is a blush, and I will probably also keep this. This is what I would consider a deluxe sample. So what I would do is I would go figure out how much a blush from Tarte would cost, and then I would divide that in half, and then, oops, I didn't realize I had plastic. And then that would be the cost of this. So what I'm trying to do is to figure out if what I spend versus what I keep is worth keeping all of my subscription boxes. And then I want to figure out if there are some that I don't need to purchase anymore. Because I do get five subscription boxes a month. And the reason I came up with this idea is because of my Lit Monthly bags that I get, they always seem to come with the same products or same colors over and over again. And I am trying to minimize what I keep as far as lipsticks go. I don't need 7,000 nudes or 6,000 pinks. So that's why I started this series to see if there was anything that I did or didn't want. All right. So like I said, um, let me just get into this. I started off by telling you about this upside down item and this is a texture body hold so this is like a cream and this is something that I'm actually going to keep I'm not going to open it right now well maybe I will actually I will I'll tell you what it smells like because I'm going to keep it and try to use it mm. all right so this doesn't really have a it's sticky, so that's why it's probably considered a texturizer. And it's got like this white here, creamy consistency. As far as the smell of it, it doesn't smell good. It's kind of just like, I don't know, it kind of smells a little bit like hairspray, but not in a good way, like a weird chemical smell. I don't know. I will, however, be keeping this. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take stickers that look like these, and I'm gonna write like, just like S, B, I, L, and probably B, C for BoxyCharm on them so I know where they came from, but 
So I would keep this, this came from the Sephora Play, so I'm gonna keep this. The next item that I have that I already showed you was the Tarte uh, blusher. And this is in the shade Party. And I like Tarte blushes. I have another one that, that I had gotten from them in another, I don't remember what it was. It might've been an Ipsy bag. I think it was Exposed. I didn't really like that one. It was a little bit too dark for me, but this one seems like it is a soft pinky color and this is really pretty. I do like it because I feel like with this one, it's not just pink. It is actually like a more of a nude pink almost because it's like pink, but then it's got a little bit of brown in it. I'm gonna swatch it again by itself. So that is what it looks like on its own. I'm gonna take this shade here, which is Peach Smoothie from the White Peach and see what I mean. Now you can see where this has more of a nude kind of tone to it as opposed to just a pink. And I will be keeping this as well. The next item that I have is kale and spinach green tea hyaluronic acid and this is by youth to the people <laughs> and it's called leave your best life so this is what appears to be a age prevention superfood cream so it's gonna make sure i don't age and this has just your basic you know how things say they're unscented but they have that weird scent like just kind of like a, a scent to them still, but it's the unscented scent. <laughs> That's what this is. So I will be keeping this one as well. The next item in here is this Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen. And this is interesting. So it's clear and then it has like these little balls in them. And this is called, oh wait, sorry, this is just a it says it's liquid collagen i would probably use this as a serum Let's see what it smells like though all right so whatever the smell is on this it is very very light it does have appear to have a little bit of a scent to it but like i said it's really light and yeah it works just like a serum so it absorbs pretty quickly into the skin the smell isn't bad though so I like this it has a smell that I like <laughs> so I will keep this the next item that I have in here is this fresh all-natural sweetener sugar advanced therapy lip treatment in dream so this is uh, what it appears to be is probably a chapstick and it says that it has a pink tint to it how do I oh spits all right so Looks like this is kind of off kilter. Do you see that? It's, you can see it inside too there. See, it's crooked. <laughs> All right, so let me, this actually smells really good. I don't know what this is supposed to smell like. Kind of like a lemonade. And that is the color that it shows. I like this. I will definitely be keeping this. This will probably move into one of the top rotation items, like one of the items that I put in like my end table. The last item that I have in here is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Makeup Removing Gel Cleanser. has that um, Neutrogena kind of smell to it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they put in Neutrogena, but a lot of things smell like it. Must be a good thing they put in things. And I will definitely keep this. I don't typically use other cleansers because I use like the, um, what are they? The Avita? Avita? I think they're Avita. They're the oil wipes or oil cleansing pads and they're like the round ones and I usually wash my face with that, get all my makeup off and then use an oil cleanser to get like anything left over which is usually just like mascara. And then I scrub it like around my eye area and then I rinse it and that's how I do my cleansing with my makeup. But we'll try this. I'll keep it for now. All right, moving on. I have the, which one is this? The Ipsy bag and it looks like this. The bag is actually interesting. It's got like this holographic look to it. Like it color shifts, which is really pretty. 
All right, the first item that I see is this IBY brush, and this is, doesn't say what kind of brush it is, but to me, this is a, um, I don't like this brush. If you could see, it's, it's not very uniform, and it's not really thick, so I wouldn't use this as a packing brush. And it's really synthetic, so it, this would be something that I would want to use as a concealer brush. But like I said, could you see how uneven it is? Like, I couldn't use this as a concealer brush because the bristles aren't uneven. So this one, I will put this in my keep for now. And if I don't use it within the next like month or so, I'll probably move it to the... De, uh, declutter. The next item that I have is La Butte Fatale and it is a lipstick and whoa it is a purple lipstick. I actually think I have a purple lipstick similar to this. Ooh, it's pretty though. It looks like this. It's really pretty. This is not advertised. This is just advertised as a lipstick. It does have a vanilla smell to it. This is not, I'm not going to say this is a matte because it definitely has a sheen to it. And like I said, it's advertised as a lipstick, not as a matte. So I'm going to assume that it is a matte. I am also going to mark this as a keep for now. I do have another purple lipstick that I got in a Lip Monthly, I think, a while ago. And it is a purple and I want to kind of compare them and if these are the same shade or similar enough I'll probably declutter that one because I think that one is matte and I don't really like matte lipsticks too much so all right moving on we have this nude eyeshadow from the nude beach volume three and this is is this just called nude beach maybe it's called nude beach I don't know Oh, no, ba oh, Bodacious. So it's in the shade Bodacious. And this is a really warm shade. To me, this appears as though it's going... Oh, I forgot I still had that cream on my arm. But this looks like it's going to be more of a bronzer. And it looks like that. It's not that dark. Um, so I might be able to... And it seems as though, like if I rub it around, it seems as though it blends pretty decently. So I might... I will, put, again, I feel like I'm keeping all of them, it's like, I finally come to a conclusion that I might get rid of these, and they start pulling out all the stops. So I'm going to be marking this one as an Ipsy product. I will keep this one for now, and if I don't feel as though I'm reaching for it at very much, I might also move this one to the declutter section just because I'm not a huge bronzer person so uh, having one or two is good enough for me and I currently have like three so I don't need it. Moving on we have this uh, Brogio, Brogio? Yeah. the Brogio Scalp Revival. This is a charcoal and peppermint oil cooling jelly conditioner which I could have used this when I colored my hair the other day. Would have been nice. But, uh, ooh, yes, this smells so good. Ooh, that's, it's got a weird jelly consistency. Did it say it was a gel? It did. Go me. So, <laughs> it's a gel. But I like, it definitely smells just like a peppermint candy. Like, imagine the way that a York smells while you're eating it, because, you know, you can always smell a York while you're eating it. That's what this smells like. And I can't wait to use this because peppermint does have a cooling effect that I, that, I mean, it just does. And I can't wait to have this on my scalp. That sounds amazing to have a cooling, your scalp cooling. So I'm actually going to probably use this. The next item that I have in here is the Mana Kadar Step 2 Polish. And this is the Flawless Finish Dual Powder in C3 Flawless Linen. Now, I'm not even going to open this. I am going to actually declutter this um, because I already received one of these before. I think it was in a different shade. It might have been a step, some, no, I'm pretty sure it was a step two as well. And I didn't really like it. This is 
not something that I'm interested in. It also appears to be a little bit dark for my actual skin tone on camera. Well, actually it's not that far off, but still. This, I don't, I will not use this. I have setting powders that I have that are my go-to and I am not a setting powder like collector. I don't really use them. I've tried a few of them over the years, but I just, I don't, I don't ever use them. So I'm going to mark this as an Ipsy product, but I am going to put this in the pile of items that I will not be keeping. Moving on, we have this, which is the Lip Monthly bag, and I wonder if this glows in the dark. I don't know. I'll let you know. It doesn't say on here. All right, but it did, finally, I got my little thing that says, oh, this is what came in the bag. All right, so the first item that I have here, oh wait, here we go. The first item that I'm gonna show you is this Be A Bombshell lipstick. And I'm going to say right away, this is in the shade Naive, and I'm going to declutter this. I'm not gonna swatch it. This is what this looks like, and it is a really, really dark. Like if you put it next to my lips, this isn't necessarily a shade that I personally would gravitate towards. So this is Nikki's Nude um, by MAC, and this is about the kind of nude that I like to use, where it's more of a pink because my lips are more pink, and then this is the color that they gave me, which is a really warm orangey brown, and this might look good on some, but I find that browns, just don't look good on my complexion, at least not this deep of a brown. So I'm going to mark this as a lip monthly product and then I'm going to move it to the declutter section because I just, I won't use it. All right, the next item we have is this lip monthly crayon in the shade two. So, get dizzy, hold on. These shades are almost identical. This is just a little more pink. So, it's needless to say, I will be also decluttering this one. Uh, it seems to come with quite a bit of product though, and I do actually enjoy lip crayons. It's just that, like I said, this shade isn't necessarily something that I feel as though would fit my skin tone. So I'm going to be, I won't swatch it, but I will be decluttering it and I will be putting it away. And this also says that that Be A Bombshell lipstick was $8 and the Lip Monthly was a $16 lipstick, which I doubt Lip Monthly is just putting a, a, a name or a number on it and that's just wrong. All right, so this is Estate Cosmetics, ooh. All right, well, I like the color. So this is a liquid lipstick. It retails for $10. It is a, a pinky color, so that's why I'm kind of like, mm, maybe. But it says it's a wet matte, which I don't understand what that means. So this is the shade of it. It is really pretty. I do like this. Um, it smells weird. But I'm going to leave it on my arm, see if it dries. If it dries, I probably will declutter this, unfortunately. And oh, this is in the shade Edible. But if it doesn't, then I will move it into my collection. And then after the six months, I will see. Also, I feel like after the six months, anything that I have moved into my, like, rotation, but I haven't used, I will then declutter as well. All right, so this last item here is the Bella Pierre Gel Lip Liner, and it is in the shade Nude Number 2, and it looks like this. It's got a nice sharp tip on it. I wonder if it has the sharpener at the end. No. Wait. No. But I did just rip the bottom off. All right. So this one I feel like matches yeah this one matches this shade pretty decently I do feel as though that this probably matches these items better like probably this lip monthly one would probably match it 
perfectly. Mm, but I have been needing a lip liner in a nude shade. I don't really use lip liners too often, but that was because I usually use um, liquid lipsticks or wanded lipsticks, I should say. And I've been doing a lot more cream lipsticks and I've been using the Too Faced La Creme ones and the tips are really blunt, so it's hard to get that fine line. So this, I've been needing one of these, so I will be keeping this one. Next, we have the Birch Box. First item that I have here is the Velveteen Dream Smoothing Shampoo. And this is probably an item I will keep, but I won't be marking this down as any monetary value because, I mean, it's a tiny satchel. This is for frizz-free strands. Whatever. So, there you go. And I'm going to say that my bonus item was the, the conditioner that went with it. I feel like this birch box is probably going to go. The next item that I have is the Loritzy Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Title, and it looks like this. This is definitely a liquid lipstick, and so was the other one. Yeah. The other one is dry, so I probably... <sighs> I'm going to have to move it, because I don't like liquid lipsticks but I'm not gonna open this one either because this is a liquid lipstick and I don't like liquid lipsticks so the next item that I have is where is it okay the Marcel City and this is a 24-hour anti-pollution day and night moisturizing e and I'm going to say right away that I keep usually all of the moisturizers that I get because they're useful. Always. Oh, my nails are chipping already. And this has a very light scent. And if you can see, it kind of, like, if you could see right here, well, you probably won't be able to tell. I could tell that it has this um, silicone feeling to it. So it has that, like, pore filling effect to it. So I feel like this would probably be a really good moisturizer to put on before your makeup because it has that pore filling kind of blurring effect to it. So I will be keeping this one and I will probably move it into here because sometimes I do forget when I get out of the shower to immediately put a moisturizer on and it would be nice to have one already in this area. The next item I have is this Real Chemistry Foaming Cleanser. Let's see. It doesn't really have a smell. Um, ooh, it got real watery. Okay. And now it is getting that soapiness to it and it doesn't smell bad so that is good I will also be keeping this one and trying to use it before the six months are done the last item that comes in this is the Orbe a pre beach wave and shine spray so I've tried some of their dry shampoos Ooh. that was intense it smells really good I'm gonna. I have tried some of their dry shampoos, and they're okay. I do still prefer the my Batiste in the actually in the scent Wild. I don't know why. I think it's because it kind of complements the smell of my shampoo and my scalp because I don't wash my hair every day, so they go together, make me smell great. I don't know, but I will move this into the keep pile and see if I like it. Uh, I will say this. I do prefer the OI Wave Spray. That one is my favorite. I think it's the scent. It's just, it's always been my favorite. Moving on to the final subscription, which is the BoxyCharm. And in here, I'm going to pull out this so I know what we got. All right. Ooh, I haven't been in this, but now I'm excited. So the first thing that caught my eye... Ooh, 
can we do something with our life? All right, so the first thing that caught my eye was this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And this says it retails for $25. I don't know what this. It smells good. It's got a weird scent to it. Is this a setting spray by chance? Oh, so I had to shake it. It says it's packed with cucumber and plant. Non sticky mist, radiant do it finish. All right, so as I can use it on my skin without. It smells really good, though. It smells clean and fresh, and I really like this. So I'm definitely keeping it, which pretty much pays. Ooh, it's like, it's got this. It's, it's supposed to, like, make your skin dewy, which my face is full of moisturizer, so. That's going to happen anyway. But I feel like. It's got this mintiness to it, which is probably how it's like supposed to like wake you up because it's got this almost cooling effect to it. So I'm definitely keeping this. I'm so happy I got that. I like that. I like it a lot. All right. The next item in here is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And it's a brush. Okay. And... All right, so in here, if you can see, there is like a cream. All right. I've used Chella products before. They're pretty good. I've never really, I don't really think I like this idea because this brush, if you can see, is a little bit too, it's not firm enough. So I don't really like this brush that it comes with, but I feel as though they're going for kind of like the Cabral, where it comes with the brush and the product all in one, but um, this one, they didn't execute it quite the same because with the Cabral, the brush that comes with it is really firm and thin and you could do these brush strokes, whereas with this one, the brush is very fluffy, so I'm not sure, I'm pr I've already used it, I wish I didn't now, but I will be decluttering this one. The next item in here is this Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess I should tell you that last item was $26, and then this one is $11.99. And this is in the shade 5 Desert Rose. And if you open it up, it looks like this. I feel like this is a little too dark. I am going to swatch this because I do want to see what it looks like. All right, so this, do you mind? This is the shade that it comes off. It's called Desert Rose, but it appears to be more of a peach color. Um, it's not actually too much different than this color when it wasn't this bronze color before I blended it out. <sighs> Personally, I don't. I won't use this. I will be moving this into the declutter pile because I just, I don't feel as though I would use this. I tend to use more lighter shades or not even lighter shades, but like pinks and purples and very light peaches. So to me, this one is just a little too warm for a blush color that I personally would use. So I'm going to declutter it if I could find my marker. The next item in here is the Needles No More. Did I tell you? Yeah, I did. The Dr. Brandt Needles No More um, No More Baggage. This is a eye depuffing gel. And this retails for $42. Okay. So, okay, it's $42. Oh, God. All right. So it's got this like almost salmon color to it. It looks like this. It has an interesting smell to it. It's sticky. So let me see. Say goodbye to puffy and say hello to youthful rested looking eyes. No more baggage ID puffing. 
because it reduces under eye bags and dark circles. So I guess that would be why it's that salmon color because the salmon color would counteract dark circles. I don't really have too much of an issue with dark circles or baggage really. I might get a little bit but for the most part and I think I do have a little bit of darkness but it's nothing that to me is horrible that um like a BB cream couldn't cover up but I do feel like I might use this it says after your eye moisturizer it says use alone or under makeup all right so I will keep this it's $42 why would I not oh here I found it the other one so I'm going to mark this and buy lit I will mark this and I will definitely be keeping this. Sorry that I have an annoying cat. All right. The last item that I have is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. And this is by Wander Beauty. And this retails for $24. So this is a Volume and Curl Mascara. I like these new packaging that they have, these plastic ones. I feel like it's better because I can get more product out of it and it, I can get more product and I don't necessarily get too much product out of it like with the plastic tubes and when you can't determine where your product is. So let's see. All right, so this is the shape of the wand. The wand is a little bit thicker than what I personally would like to use but I do like these curved ones. My favorite is the Ico one that I got in a previous Birchbox Ipsy bag something or other. And I like it because of the curved wand. It is a lot better for getting my under eyes and I don't find that I get as much like transfer when I use that one. So I'm really excited for this one. I will be keeping it and we'll see if I how I feel about it in six months if it's still in my rotation if I even used it and how I feel so yeah that is actually everything all in all at the end of it these are the items that I am immediately decluttering um, and that I won't be keeping and I'll be putting away in a separate bag to kind of determine the price I'll also be keeping these things so I know how much each item costs and then this is the keep so I have a lot of items that I'm going to be keeping which is great I'm happy that means that these were this was a good subscription month which is great because it's my birthday month I'm gonna turn an age it's my birthday the 23rd this video should be out after my birthday but just a few days after my birthday but yeah anyways I'm recording this actually the day before my birthday because just today is Sunday and I think tomorrow's my birthday I don't know anyways I feel like this month was a good month we had a they had a good haul I have a lot of items that I will be keeping as opposed to items that I won't be keeping so I'm very happy about that I guess <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my hand is really rough now it's like I feel like that stuff got real matte real quick it's not sticky no more. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back for more. I love you all, you beautiful unicorns. Bye. I think they know. I think they're on to me. That's why they sent me good stuff. They know I'm getting ready to cancel.